Hello, my name is Dr. Claire Atsuma, and I'm an emergency physician at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Emergency Department. I'm also sort of the host, I guess, of the emergency department discharge instruction videos that you've been watching. We came up with this because the Ministry of Health uh, funded us to create these videos using an AFP innovation grant. This is uh, a grant for academic physicians to come up with innovative ways to try and help patients. Now I thought when I go and see my pediatrician, after I've left that office, I can remember maybe half of what he's told me, and I'm a doctor. So if I'm having this kind of trouble, I can't imagine how your average patient manages to remember everything when they leave the emergency department. As well, in the emergency department, we're often rushing. We often fall back on our medical jargon or our medical speak when we're talking to patients. So it's very difficult, I would imagine, for patients to recall all of their discharge instructions accurately. In fact, the name of this grant is Speak Fast, Use Jargon, and Don't Repeat Yourself, Trying to Improve Emergency Department in Discharge Instructions. So that is how we got the funding for it, and that is why we created these discharge instructions, hopefully to help um, reinforce the instructions you got from the emergency physician. The other thing is you can watch them at home and you can watch them at your own pace. So you can repeat them as many times as you need to um, and hopefully that will be helpful for you. Now the way we came up with these discharge instructions is I created them all based on what I tell my, my patients in the emergency department. Then we convened a group of five emergency physicians, including myself, from the Sunnybrook Health Sciences Emergency Department, ranging from four years of practice all the way up to 25 years of practice, and we reviewed all of the discharge instructions, edited it where we thought it would be helpful, added a few things, took away a few things, and then what you see in the discharge instructions is the final result. So that's how we came up with them. Now, the most important thing is to make sure you have the right discharge diagnosis. Don't watch a video when you're not really sure if that was your diagnosis because you may be doing the wrong thing for it. So you must make sure you know what your diagnosis was so that you can watch the right video for it. Now, if what the emergency physician told you uh, contradicts something that we said, always go with what the emergency physician told you because they are personalizing their care just for you. Obviously, when we're doing videos, we're trying to apply to everyone who has that diagnosis. Uh, but if you've got something slightly different from the emergency physician, do follow their instructions. Now, as far as my own uh, credentials, my medical doctorate came from the University of British Columbia, that's UBC. After that, I spent a year in Los Angeles at UCLA as a visiting scholar doing research. Then I spent my first year of residency, that's often called internship, at McMaster University. And then I did another five years or so uh, at the University of Toronto doing a residency in emergency medicine. During that time, I also got a master's degree uh, in healthcare research, and I followed that all up with another year fellowship in healthcare research. Uh, so that's who I am. If you want to check and make sure I really am who I say I am, you can always look at the CPSO website. That's www.cpso.on.ca. CPSO stands for the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario, and all doctors have to remain up to date on that when they are practicing. So you can find me on there. I'm Dr. Atsuma, and I hope you find our discharge instructions helpful.